today is about the celebration of our mental health programmes here and having the Prince visit today is just such a special occasion for the staff and the participants on our programmes. So our programmes have been running now for more than 12 years and we have a, a number of them and an ever-growing number of them as well. So he was fascinated to hear about those and we could see from the sessions he was, he was really, really enjoying what he saw and uh, hopefully, you know, a very informative day for him. I think we all know when we're aware of now that I suppose men uh, and women, but I think men especially, don't, don't like to talk about their feelings and I think we're getting places you know year by year I think more and more men are starting to talk but uh, to come down here for the heads up campaign is, is so important and uh, as I said just to make it aware to everyone that you know it is good to talk. Obviously we are, we are got a very good mental health programmes uh, in Everton in the community and it was good to show them you know actually what we do he joined a group that, that I was involved in of the over 70s who, who suffer from, from the social isolation. So we got them away and, and talking about our memories. You know, he was presented with a, with a shirt and also with a, a programme from the first game after he was born, which was Everton against Aston Villa. Uh, but I had to remind him that the scoreline was 5-0 to Everton and uh, I was fortunate enough to score two goals in the day. And fortunately for us, he took it well. Uh, he laughed about it, but no, listen, it was fantastic to see him here today and it just shows you uh, how good the work of Everton in the community is. I'm part of the Heads Up campaign and I thought it was a good thing to get into because it's going to help somebody, hopefully, if it helps more than one, even better. But we're about helping others and helping people with mental health come out and speak about it and get the help they needed to get. Surreal, surreal moment. I was a bit nervous at first, of course. Um, Obviously felt a bit more comfortable as, as time went by. Some good questions from the lads and himself as well, which are all answerable. You know what I mean? Brilliant, absolutely brilliant made up. He asked a few questions about what it's like for a young player, you know, coming into the, the situations and, and the circumstances that you do, you know. No one kind of prepares you to, to deal with the opinions of many, many people and, and that can kind of get to you sometimes. But um, for me, it was just, uh, you know, just answering the questions that he was, he was asking and I think it was just a, a very productive conversation. Obviously being from the city it's great to give back so I love coming here and, and helping out whenever I can um, and having a Prince here has just made the day so I'm buzzing for everyone involved and it's been a good day for us all yeah. Without question that the, the Everton reputation both as a football club and especially as a charity has opened a number of doors to us and it's been positively commented on by the children, by all of the schools who we work with and our local communities as really opening doors and to engage communities who perhaps wouldn't ordinarily benefit from these types of programmes and we're particularly proud to work with the club and in particular the charity at the university to really affect local change that benefits people but not only in mental health terms but also in terms of their wider communities and lives. We know our staff are you know, the, the great ambassadors for the work that we do. They're out there delivering day in, day out. And the skill that they've got, very, you know, they're very dedicated. Uh, they, they care about the, the people they're supporting. And they, they know the way to do it is very important. But to have somebody of the Duke of Cambridge's stat, stature to come down and to really endorse what they're doing and to, to thank them for what they're doing, um, it's, a, it's a great day for the, for the project leads. It's great that the charity are recognised for the work that they're doing in relation to mental health um, and I think it's important that he could come along today to see the work that we're doing and it was great that he got involved with the children today to take part in the Emoji Bingo activity. Um, he, he saw firsthand uh, what the activities we do but not only that he got to speak to the children and, and he got to ask questions about why they enjoy taking part in the sessions as well. Once we told them yesterday they were really really excited um, even when when they came to Goodison before they were just all they wanted to do was see the prince and they wanted to get involved in the session with him. Um, um, and as you can see today, when he walked in the room, the faces went when he did arrive. He was, he was ecstatic, he was really excited. Um, kids to learn at such a young age, I've got kids as well, and you know, I'm trying to te you know, teach that as well. It's okay if they, you're upset, it's okay to be upset. Why are you upset? It's, it, you, know, you don't want to sort of shut someone down. You, you need to express your feelings and your emotions, and you know, what we were doing up there is a, is a great start. and planning application has been submitted for the People's Place, a permanent mental health facility. What impact would that have on this community? 
It will be next door to the People's Hub, so it will have that real pavement power where people who are coming to the game or around in this community um, in and outside a match day can walk in and get support and help. And that support will range from those people who are suffering with low level anxiety right up to those at risk of suicide. So having a highly visible Everton endorsed building that again says, if you're suffering, if you need support, come to your football club and we'll have the services in place to support you. So a really um, important time for us with planning and as I say, a critical piece, final piece in the jigsaw puzzle. To see the Duke come up and praise our work, to see the Duke come up and engage with our participants and our staff like he has done has just been absolutely wonderful. So we're, we're thrilled and also, you know, honoured that he came to see us. It's been, been wonderful.